Hey campers, my name is Angel and today we're doing some physics experiments. They're going to be a lot of fun and they're going to have spiritual applications as well. We're going to do a total of three, so let's get started with the first one. For this first experiment, you're going to want a plate, a small bowl, some scissors, matches, and a bag of tea. Doesn't matter what kind, you can use any. This first experiment does involve fire, so please be very safe, ask for your parents' permission, and make sure to have their supervision so they watch you doing this. So what you'll want to do first is grab your tea bag and then just slice off the top with the scissors, just like that. And you just have the tea left in there. You're going to open it up a bit, it's going to come out like a long rectangle. And then you'll take your little bowl and dump all the tea out. Make sure all of it gets out and come, come out of either way. So it's left in this little bowl and you can just put this to the side. And now you should be left with a nice rectangular piece of little tea bag paper. So now you have your tea bag and you have it folded and creased on these two sides, but you're gonna wanna push in on the center to open it up and then fold the other sides as well. And you wanna do this because then when you open it up and you have creases on every side, you can completely open it to create a sort of hollowed out rectangular prism. And then just go ahead and stand that on your plate. So next, we're going to be lighting the tea bag at the tips. Again, make sure there's nothing flammable in the area. But first, I want you to pause here and tell me what do you think is going to happen when we ignite the tips of the tea bag. Okay, campers, now that you've taken your guesses, here we go. Put the match down on the plate safely. And watch as the tea bag burns down, down, down. Then it goes up flies away. Look at that. And this starts landing back down in a just small piece of ash. Look at that. So campers, now that you've taken your guesses, I'll explain what happened here. The tea bag kind of serves as a hot air balloon. A lot of people say you know hot air rises. But the only reason it rises is because it becomes a lot less dense or in a way a lot less heavier. So then all the cool air around it lifts it up. And so this is a lot like the way God's light and love works on us. You can use the match as a source of God's light to us being the bag of tea. And so when God touches his love and his light on us, we are lifted up and we are given great, great encouragement to keep moving on in life. And there's nothing within ourselves or this world that can lift us the way God does. We first need the touch of his light and his love. For this next experiment, you're going to need a long stick. A broomstick works just fine. Put both index fingers on either side and balance the stick just like this. Move them slowly towards the center until eventually those two fingers meet. And this stick is pretty well balanced so we meet right in the center. So go ahead and pause and try and take a guess why is it we met right in the center. So the reason we met right in the center is because, I even marked it, the center of mass of this broomstick is right where this little tape is. And so what happens is, as the sticks are moving forward, they gain some friction with the broomstick because it becomes heavier on their side, so they take a pause. So to illustrate that, I'll have one way closer to the center of mass and the other one further away. This one over here isn't moving because most of the weight is on it, so there's a lot of friction keeping it from moving. But once the other figure gets there, then it now has the ability to move and meet it in the center. We can even illustrate this better if we put on the broom part of the broomstick. And so now, without the broom part, it's pretty well balanced on both sides. But as you can see now, this part's gonna be a lot heavier. So, and I marked the new center of mass there with the broom handle on. As we go in, this finger's doing all the work. Not until it gets pretty much to the center, it gets more friction, allowing the other finger to finally move and then meet right in the center. Pretty cool, huh? And so a neat spiritual application for this is sometimes in life, we're kind of stuck and not moving while we see other people moving. And we question God, why are you holding me down? Why can't I move with other people? But sometimes God allows things to happen so that we're held down so when other people get there, we can get there together and work together. 
And we just have to wait for God and be patient with Him because He can have other things waiting for us at the other end if we're just patient, even if we may feel like we're being held down. He knows what's best. All right, campers, for the last experiment, I'm taking you to my kitchen. Excuse the dirty dishes. Um, I'm gonna show you a cool trick with some running water. So check this out. Look at the water bending. So how did I do that? How did I hold the cup up to the water and make the water bend? That one I'm not gonna explain. I want you guys to try and recreate it. Be the amazing scientists you are and try and look into why the water bends. Hope you guys have a great time with the rest of the videos. Enjoy Summer Camp 2020. Hey there campers. Thanks again for hanging out with us here at PSR at Home. Make sure to check our website, psraathome.org. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow our social media, and don't forget, make sure to share all your experiences using the hashtag PSR at Home or PSR Camp at Home. Looking forward to seeing you guys again soon.